This is a BMW 3 Series 2014 F20 stroke F21 model. And this is a FEM module, otherwise known as a body control module. Uh, the body control module is responsible for various controls on the car, such as central locking, electric windows, uh, wipers, washers, interior lighting, various sensors and control modules on the car for inputs and uh, all sorts of functions. And on this one, we're going to see what we've got wrong and we're going to change the FEM module. One of the main things about a FEM module is it's the main immobilizer on the car. So these are FEM keys. So if you've got a key like this, you've got a FEM or BDC module, not the earlier CAS type system. Um, you can't just change out the FEM module without programming. It's located down there in the footwell. Uh, there's the one that we're going to put on. Now, the reason we're changing this one is if we pop the ignition on, and as I said earlier, it controls electric windows. As you can see, the passenger side window works, but the driver side window, no worky. So uh, this one has actually been uh, tested on the car. We've uh, checked it out and the windows now work, but the car will not start because the immobilizer needs to be um, swapped over to make it run. So we're going to run through with you how to change a FEM module and program it to the car uh, using specialist tools. We do this job by post all over the UK, Europe. You can send them to us and we're going to show you that we can do it. So uh, let's get cracking. But before that, we're going to run a quick diagnostic check on it. Uh, we're going to scan through the units and see what fault codes we've got. So we'll just let that scan through. We'll be back to you in two seconds. Right, that's all scanned through. Uh, battery's getting a bit low on here. Now we've got fault codes in engine control module and CAS unit. CAS unit is actually the FEM unit on this. So if we go into there, we have uh, it's a very unusual code. It's also coming up. If we start this, uh, we will see we're actually getting a message on the screen uh, telling us possible to continue journey, full performance is not available, have the problem checked by your service partner. I don't think that's related to our electric window problem. We will come back to that one. Uh, but what we are going to check out, right, we're going to check out the uh, FEM module for fault codes. And we're going to read the fault codes. Um, power window, driver's door, power windows, driver's door, power window, driver's door, window regulator, driver's door. All sorts of, uh, all sorts of fault codes. Let's clear those out. See what we're left with. Driver's door, driver's door, driver's door. The wiring has been checked out on the door. The customer who's brought the car in has checked the wiring out. Um, he's gone through the switches, checked everything else out. He's come to the conclusion that the FEM module is the fault. That one has been plugged in already. These codes aren't there with the other FEM module. So we know that we've got a working FEM module, but doesn't start the car. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's get this on the bench. And uh, well, let's, first off, let's show you how to remove them because they're a bit fiddly. So let's do that first and then we'll get on and program it. So the FEM unit is held in just with this one torque screw, which I've already taken out and it's underneath the uh, side kick panel here. This, uh, these ratchet levers, well, this, uh, this locking tab's already been broken. Um, so these have all got to come out. So we'll get those out and I'll show you this one connector, which is really awkward down there somewhere. So this uh, very last connector here is an awkward one. The way I've found to get it out is to put a screwdriver with a little bit of tension on the wire and then operate the release lever and draw it out. Now, unfortunately, I need three hands to do that. And uh, I've only got two with me today. So uh, I'm gonna get that out, get it on the bench and show you a close up of how to get that connector out. Right, last connector is out. And here's the FEM module. Luckily for us today, the FEM module from the breakers yard actually came with this wire cut. I think that's because they struggled doing it and they cut it. So what we have to do, which you couldn't see on the car, 
this release lever has to uh, slide up so we have to get this in the up position once you got that in the up position the release tab is there which has to be pressed that way at the same time you need to have a bit of tension on it here it's really fiddly so uh, probably better with two screwdrivers so I'll just grab another one so in the car you just get a little bit of just tiny bit of pressure behind it and then you push that release lever and it comes out so uh, that's the release lever in the up position that's the tab that you have to uh, come on focus that's the tab that you have to push down and then with the um, pressure up behind it you'll get it out uh, try not to break these off. If that does break off, it's no biggie. It still works without. Uh, that will only push down once the connector's back on again. So uh, let's get it mounted up and show you how we program these. So all that's left to do is to refit the FEM module here back into the car, test if it's all working. Unfortunately, my microphone uh, <laughs> ran out of battery whilst I was recording this, so I'm having to narrate this afterwards, see if I can remember what we had to do. So uh, back into the car, first thing that we're going to check is the remote controls are working. So uh, you'll see me here grab the remote control in a second and um, it does work unfortunately you're gonna have to take my word for that um, next thing to do is to see if the car starts and runs because remember this is the main immobilizer unit on the car there's a start button and there you can see the rev counter going up so we had a runner all the lights now go off and the display in the screen no longer has the message in there telling you to take it to a workshop so um so far so good but does the window work let's see success the window works now does the passenger window work we're gonna try that one yes we are open as the sign says so uh last thing we had to do was to set the um 
one touch window uh, pressure sensors up just by holding the switches on um, I had to check various things like the mirrors make sure they were working the lights etc so we just scanned through everything um, what we're going to do we're just going to do a quick clear of the fault codes see what we're left with all good we have a full set of green boxes which means every control module is now fault free another start cycle message has disappeared off that screen um radio's all working um got to check everything like wing mirrors are working they're working windows are working right so um that's everything if you need one of these uh here fem units if you uh need one of these cloned because you've got a faulty window or any other faults send it to us at ecuconnection.co.uk that's where they're located showing you how to get them out quickly ran through with the system to show you how we do them and uh, hopefully we'll have the same result as what we had on this one and uh, it is a faulty FEM unit and not misdiagnosed wiring. So that's about it for this one. Uh, just leave me to say uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please click the like, the subscribe and the share buttons. Leave a comment if you want to leave a comment. If you are interested in purchasing the diagnostic tool we're using here to do the diagnostics on the car, this is the Think Tool Max. There is a link in the description below. Uh, there's also a link in the description below uh, for the services that we offer at ECU Connection. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.